So I've been tinkering a little bit with R2 recently, and while I've been doing that, I've been topping off his batteries. I've had a couple of questions recently about charging batteries, and I thought this might be a good opportunity to tell you a little bit about what I learned about charging batteries, what kind of chargers to use, how fast you should charge them, and really the rationale for why I choose to charge my batteries individually rather than in series and inside R2. So let's get started. The first thing to do is to make sure that you have the right charger for your batteries. You always want the voltage of your charger to match the voltage of your batteries. So I'm using the 12 volt 5 amp charger from Dakota Lithium. You also want to make sure that your charger is specifically designed for lithium batteries. You really shouldn't use a lead acid battery charger. And the main reason for this is that a fully charged lithium battery is going to read about a volt higher than a similar lead acid battery. So if you use a lead acid battery charger on your lithium batteries, the charger is going to read the batteries as full when there's still about a volt to go. And that would mean that you're really only charging your lithium batteries to 70 or 80% of their capacity. So then the next question becomes, how long will it take to charge my batteries? This charger charges at 3 amps and my batteries have a 10 amp hour capacity. So it'll take 3.3 hours for me to charge these batteries from 0 to 100%. The rate at which batteries are charged or discharged is referred to as the C rate. It's a normalized unit where one C represents the rate at which a battery would be charged from zero to 100% in exactly one hour. If you increase the rate, you would reduce the time. So charging at two C would take 30 minutes and four C would take 15 minutes. Likewise, if you reduce the rate, it's gonna take longer to charge your batteries. In fact, Dakota Lithium recommends that for their 10 amp hour and less capacity batteries, you charge at a rate of about 0.3C, meaning you take at least three hours to charge the batteries. The three amp charger here falls right into that sweet spot. They say that you can charge your batteries at up to 1C, but they do warn that repeated fast charging can reduce the lifespan of the battery. So what about when the batteries are connected in series? Well, for starters, you're gonna need a different charger. Instead of charging a 12 volt battery, you're now charging a 24 volt battery system. So you'd probably need something like this 24 volt charger also available from Dakota Lithium. It has the added benefit of charging at five amps, which means that you'd actually be able to charge your system in two hours instead of three, a little bit faster than recommended, but you'd probably be fine. Although operating and charging batteries in series does take with it some extra considerations. The biggest consideration that you'll hear about when running batteries in series is the importance of voltage matching or balancing the batteries. And basically what this means is that you individually charge each battery to 100% so that you get the best performance out of your overall system. By law, all lithium batteries are shipped at a low state of charge, usually less than 20%. This means that when you first get your batteries, they're going to be nearly empty and they're definitely going to be at different states of charge. If you were to connect them in series first and then charge them using a higher voltage charger, the charge is going to read the system as full as soon as the first battery hits 100%, even if the other batteries may be only at 75 or 80%. Likewise, as you discharge the batteries, as soon as the first battery hits 0%, the battery management system inside is going to shut the system down, even though there might be remaining capacity in your other battery. By charging the batteries to 100% individually before connecting them in series, you'll ensure that your system is capable of producing its highest possible output. In theory, once your batteries are balanced and connected in series, they should charge and discharge at a uniform rate. But Dakota Lithium still recommends occasionally separating the batteries and charging them individually to rebalance them, especially after periods of, of inactivity. So realizing that even if I were able to charge the batteries in series, I would still have to charge them individually from time to time. And the fact that the 24 volt charger is three times the cost of the 12 volt charger was really the driving factor between me deciding that I really wasn't going to bother trying to charge the batteries in series. In the end, if I wanted to, I could get a second 12 volt charger and I'd be able to charge both my batteries in three and a half hours as opposed to the two hours of the 24 volt charger. But really, uh, I know for a fact that my 10 amp hours is more than enough to get through an entire day. So I'm never really gonna be on a time crunch to recharge the batteries. So for now, at least, I'm sticking with just charging them all individually and pulling them out of R2 in order to do that. 
Of course, that's just the direction that I decided to go for myself. I think thematically speaking, it would be really cool to be able to hook up a 3D printed fusion generator into R2's charge port and tell people that it's actually charging him. I've decided to keep my build a little more on the simple side, so I'm not going to go down that road, but good luck to anyone who decides to. So that about wraps up uh, this video, I think. I hope some of the information that I've shared will be helpful. So until next time, thanks for watching and happy building.